Question 28. Two sources of microwave P and Q produces coherent waves with a phase difference of 180. So question 28, we have two sources of microwaves P and Q. And then there is coherent wave, so I expect some form of interference happening here, with a phase difference of 180. That means before they even start, they already have a phase difference. This phase difference is at the source. Okay, at point S, there is a minimum in the interference pattern. So here is destructive interference. Because of the word minimum. Okay. Distance QS minus PS is called the part difference. Yes. We call this the part difference because uh, it is the distance, the difference in distance traveled by wave P and wave Q. Let's say wave P travel here. The length of this blue line is shorter than the length of this pink line. That's why we take QS the longer line minus PS the shortest line. Which expression could, could, uh, may represent the part difference? Okay, so now we need to think about the condition for destructive interference. Okay, so destructive interference, they will always have the same condition for phase angle. So destructive interference, the phase angle should be 180 or I prefer to use pi. Okay, so half a cycle. 3 pi, what did I put degree here? 5 pi dot dot dot. Okay, so if you think about the question that we have did previously, so this question that we did uh, previously, you will see that if let's say I want destructive interference to happen, for example, this one, it should be half a cycle later, then they will cancel out. Or one and a half cycle later. So this one can also choose to start. So instead of starting from here, where everything cancels, half cycle later, it can also start from here, one and a half. So we can take half cycle, one and a half cycle, two and a half cycle, three and a half cycle, etc, etc. Okay. So that's why I put pi, three pi, five pi, nah, of course it's, okay. You can put 180, 540 and etc, etc also can. Okay. But you see the problem here is, uh, not all of this uh, part difference, okay, uh, phase difference, is due to the part difference. Why don't the why did the wave meet at a particular at a particular different uh, pattern? Why do they meet at a certain angle difference? Okay, uh, for example, if I have one wave meeting like this, this is your delta L. What causes the delta L? One could be due to the part difference, delta L. But the second reason could also be because there is a phase difference already at the source. Maybe P and Q before you start, or P and Q already different. So we need to add both of these together. But miss, which one is this one? I don't know. But the part difference is 180 is pi. Okay, so the part difference is actually equal to the length difference plus pi. Okay, so that's why if you want to find delta L, you will take the phase angle minus pi. So when we take phase angle minus pi, this will be pi minus pi will be zero. This one will be two pi. And this one will be 4 pi. And I think you see a pattern already. 6 pi, etc, etc. But for the angle of 2 pi, the equivalent for it is lambda. 2 lambda. 3 lambda. Dot, 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 dot. All the integer numbers of lambda. Because 2 pi is one complete cycle. Your answer is C. Okay? So, let me repeat again. When P and Q meet at X and they are to be destructive, the angle must be odd pi. It must be half a cycle later, one and a half cycle later, two and a half cycle later. But what causes that difference in cycles? 
It could be, and most of the time it is, due to the part difference. Due to the part difference, because if let's say I draw this one out, this is my extra length travel by Q. Okay, it could be due to the part difference. And it could also be due to the fact that before we even start the experiment, there is already a phase angle at the source there face this one at the source that means these two uh system i set them such that when one go up the other one go down or when one generate positive amplitude the other one generates negative amplitude so because of this the total phase angle is number one due to the fact that both waves are traveling a different distance hence the path difference number two the source already also different so you need to add them together so right now, since I know for destructive, the fade, the angle difference will be odd pi. Then to find the part difference, I have to subtract the initial difference due to the source. The source already got 180 difference, so I minus. Or you write this equation, delta L will be change in phase angle minus pi. So I minus pi, all of this thing, I minus pi, I get 0, 2 pi, 4 pi. But part length is related to distances. So 2 pi, the equivalent is lambda, one complete cycle, 4 pi, 2 lambda, 3 pi, 3 lambda, etc, etc. And from here, you can see the only possible answer with the whole integer of lambda is C. Alright, but these are all the other possible values of lambda. That's it for question 28.